Alright guys, so in this tutorial we're going to be finishing off the walls of the building and uh, finish that in this video so in the next video we can move on to the other stuff in here. So I'm going to go ahead and press shift and S and choose Kessel to Lord Origin and I'm going to add in a plane. Alright, so I'm going to scale that plane up like that and I'm going to go into edit mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this edge right here and I'm pretty sure the, okay so it's not, it's not showing, I'm not sure why. Okay, it's showing. It's showing right there. So what I was trying to see is the edge length overlay that we have going on over there. So I'm just going to go, I pretty much can see it right now. Alright, so let's go over to the top view. And it's still not visible. Anyways, I'm going to use this side to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press G and then move this all the way to about this point right here. Okay, so the edge here is about, uh, I think that's about 20.2 uh, meters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one right here, or this one, or is it this, and let me just enable the gizmo real quick. Now I'm going to move this in the x-axis. I'm not sure why it's not visible, but let me take a look over here. Yeah, it's visible down here. So first of all, let me get out of edit mode, press Control A, and apply the skill, and I'm going to go in here now. So we have about 20.4, 20.2 on this side. So I'm going to make sure I have 20.2 down there, like that. And I'm going to take everything now, and I'm going to move it in the x-axis to about, I'm pretty sure there should be good. Let me just move it a bit more. Alright, so there we go. Now I'm going to move this back as well to about this point. And I'm going to make sure the side length is about uh, 24.7. So I want to make sure I have uh, 24.7. Around there, like that. I'm pretty sure that's good. All right. So now what we're gonna do now is to go ahead and create the wall that goes around the building. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go over here, right here, into edit mode, and then let me take this vertex, press shift and S and choose Kessel to select it. Now I'm gonna add in another plane, or let me just go into edit mode. Oh, no, let me get out of edit mode. And let me add in another plane right here. Okay. So I'm gonna move this here. Let me hold Control so it snaps to that edge. Hold Control so it snaps to this edge as well. Alright, so let me just go into edit mode now, and I think we need about 0.5 on this side, okay? So I'm going to take this edge over here, and I'm going to press period, and choose the pivoting point to be the 3D chasm. Alright, so I'm going to scale that, and then hold control, until we have about 0.5, right about there. I think that's too much, so let me just press S, shift and Z, until we have, okay, let me just do this without snapping it. So I'm going to scale it down until we have 0.5 on each side, like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude this in the z-axis about 2.1 meters. So let's press E and then Z. And then let's take a look at the side until we have 2.1 over there, like that. Alright. So what I'm going to do now is to just go, first of all, let me, let me set the pivoting, or let me just set the period, the origin. So I'm going to type in set origin. I want to set the origin to the 3D Kessel. All right. So now all that I'm going to do now is to go over here, take this press shift and S and choose Kessel to select it. And I want to take this now, this piece, press shift and D and press shift and S and choose selection to Kessel. And I want to rotate it in the Z axis and type in 90. That's pretty much it. So I want to do the same thing over here. Let me just take this, go into edit mode, take that press shift and S, Kessel to select it. And I want to take this now and press shift and D and press shift and S. Sorry, I think I duplicate that twice. Let me just get rid of that. And I'm going to press Shift and S and choose Selection to Kessel. Alright, and I'm going to rotate it in the Z axis again and type in 90. Alright, so finally I'm going to do the same thing over here. Press Shift and S, choose Kessel to select it. And take this Press Shift and D and then Shift and S, Selection to Kessel. Rotate in the Z axis and type in negative 90, just like that. Alright, so that's looking really great. Now, all that we're going to do here now is to take this one as well. And I'm going to press Shift and D and move it in the X axis to about to about this point right here. And I'm going to press Shift and D again, move it in the X axis again to about I think that point. And then Shift and D in the X axis to about this point. And then uh, Shift and D in the X axis all the way to about there. Alright, there we go. So now all that I'm going to do is to go in here now, go into edit mode, I'm going to press 
Now let me just take this edge right here. First off, let me join all of these pillars together. Let me just make them all one object. Control J, and there we go. And I want to go into edit mode. Let me just focus on this pillar right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this face. All right. I'm going to press Shift and D, and then scale this. First of all, let me change the pivoting point to medium point, and press S and then X, and scale this down to about I think that's about uh, is it point two or something? Let me just make it point seven. I think yeah. And I want to extrude this in the Y axis all the way back to about there and now let me just make sure I have uh, the active element set to, set to pivot I mean set to vertex and I want to take this vertex right here set the pivoting point to active element press S and then Y and type in 0 just like that alright so that is looking good now all that I'm going to do is to just take this let me just take all of that Press Shift and S and say Kesa to select it. Let me press P and separate the selection. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the origin to the geometry just like that. And let me go in here, take this face right here, and then take that face. Now I'm going to press Shift and S and choose Kesa to select it. All right. So I'm going to take this now, press Shift and D and Shift and S selection to Kesa, just like that. All right, so that's looking great. Now I want to take that and take this and press Control J to join it. Control J, Control J. There we go. All right, I kept hitting Control I. All right, so let's take this face on top and that face right there. And I'm just gonna pull it down just a bit. I'm not sure by how much, but just a bit. I think that was 2.27. Let me just pull it down to about 2.04 and I think that's pretty good all right so now all I'm going to do here is to just take this piece right here I'm just going to edit mode take all of this press shift and D rotating the z-axis say 90 and I want to move this all the way back to about here and pull it in the y-axis I mean in the x-axis all the way back to here all right that's good so I want to take these vertices right here and let's just pull them in into the wall right here and do the same with this as well pull it into the wall right there all right so i think that's looking great and now finally all that we're going to do is to just take this piece all right here let me just go into wireframe take all of this press shift and nd move it in a y-axis all the way back to about there i think is that pretty good yeah so that's pretty good okay so all that i'm going to do now is to press ctrl and r through here press 1 and I mean press ctrl and R and put it in here as well put one also in here and one more in here now let's press ctrl and R through here press X and delete the vertices press 1 through here press X and delete the vertices alright very nice so there's only one more detail left to add in and that is to go into edit mode and I want to press ctrl and R through here through there through there through there through there, through there and through there and I want to take sorry just hit play and now we're going to take all of those vertices all of those edge that we just added in take all of those and now we're going to press ctrl and B to add in some uh, boundary at the top and bottom just like that all right that's good now I think there's uh, only one more thing we have to do let me just go into uh, what do you call it local view right here and uh, I think we're going to take, let's take all of these edges. We should have done this before duplicating it, but all the same. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to all of them so you can, I can do it off camera. So I'm going to take both of those. I'm going to press V to separate it. All right. And I'm going to take all of this and hide it. And I'll take all of these faces here, press F, and all of the faces at the top as well, press F. I'm going to press Alt and H. I'm going to press Alt and H. To bring that piece back and I'm going to take all of this press s s and y or maybe let me change the pivoting point to medium point and press s and y and then scale this in a bit just like that so that was what I was looking to achieve as you can see so I'm just going to pull it in a bit more s and y just a bit more all right so that's pretty much what I'm going to do to all the walls that go around and I'm just going to skip it out
from that point. All right, so as you can see, I've gone around and then done all that to the wall, and you can see right now it's looking really great. All right, so this is where I'm going to end this video. In the next video, we're going to be working on the ceiling. And also, I forgot to tell you guys, I actually finished this window over here. So all I did was to cut out this, the wall behind the uh, the planks right here. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like. I just cut out the walls behind, I mean, the wall behind that planks, and then duplicated this plank right here. Took one of it, duplicated it here, trimmed it, and then duplicated it all around the uh, the window right there. Just like we did to the first one, so it shouldn't be too much trouble for you doing it. Alright, so this is where I'm going to end the video. In the next video, we're going to be continuing with the ceiling, and we're going to be doing the floor as well. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, so one thing I forgot to do is to add in extra pillars in the middle of these walls over here, all around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one right here. Alright, go take this, press it in D, and then Y, and move this in the Y axis to about there. And I'm just going to press S and then X, and scale this down a bit smaller to about some point like that I think is good yeah so I think something like that is good so let me just take this now and then let me move it to about here all right I want to press shift in D and then the Y and then move it about the same distance like that I'm just gonna press shift in R to duplicate it all around to you about the back like that and I want to take all of those pillars now and I want to press shift in D and move it in the x-axis all the way to the other side like that all right so you can go ahead and do the same thing to the back but i'm not going to do that to the back because it's not pretty visible and i don't think we're going to be animating any camera going all the way to the back there so i'm just going to leave that side like that all right so that was all i wanted us to fix and uh, i think it's looking pretty great now i can't believe i forgot those pillars but yeah we're done so i'll see you guys in the next video